Do you see how quickly the stock market has recovered from Brexit? My God, isn't it always this way? You know, many, many thousands of years ago, Karl Marx wrote his, his uh, final essay in which he indicated that, uh, that capitalism had an endless survival quality, and he was right. The 1% have bounced back. You take a hit on a Friday and there's an instantaneous recovery by a Monday. The same 1% whose policies resulted in the, in the crazed xenophobia and racism and antagonism to refugees and immigrants which underscored the rejection of the European Union. The same 1% whose policies of austerity around the world resulted in the so-called middle class feeling that they were being pummeled into the submission of the working class without hope or income or opportunity. Yes, the 1% ascendant again, they always are. You know that great public intellectual Naomi Klein wrote uh, in her book, The Shock Doctrine, that whether you have a financial shock, an economic shock, a cultural shock, there's always profit to be made in the aftermath. And that's what's happening. Shock and now profit. But you know, in relation to Brexit, there's one aspect which hasn't been discussed and strikes me as worthy of exploration. Interestingly enough, the United Kingdom has always had a very progressive influence on the European Union when it comes to international development issues whether it's sexual exploitation, sexual trafficking, sexual violence, child marriage, international development funding, the United Kingdom has often persuaded the European Union to take progressive positions. I mean, one of the ideological things that's so interesting is the fact that David Cameron has led the only country in the G7 that embraces the foreign aid target of 0.7% of gross national product, and they reached it. Might not make sense with a Conservative Prime Minister, but they reached it. And that's the kind of thing which has influenced the European Union. Now with the UK pulling out, we'll be in the hands of France. And boy, oh boy, will that be reactionary. No one knows where the fallout from Brexit will ultimately lead. But one thing seems certain. The sun has finally set conclusively, irreversibly, definitively on the British Empire. And you know, historically, over the centuries, when you think of the record, that's probably a good thing. That was last week. I'm Stephen Lewis.